Nia Long is an NAACP Image Award-winning actress and a well-respected entertainer. She's not only known for her talent, but she turns a lot of heads due to her beauty. But what many people don't realize is Nia has had an interesting love life. Here's what we know about her dating history. Many of our loyal subscribers know that we love to go way back in time in order to get a clearer picture of a celebrity's life. In the case of Nia Long, we have to take you back to May 15, 1966, when a high school teacher and poet named Doc Long welcomed his daughter, Lori Ann Ramball, into the world. He and Lori's mom split up, and he moved and married a woman named Talita. On October 30, 1970, 22-year-old Talita gave birth to their daughter, Nia, and they settled down as a family in Brooklyn, New York. Although Nia and her half-sister Lori are just four years apart, they didn't have a bond while growing up. And two years after Nia was born, her relationship with her dad would become strained as well. Her parents got divorced, and in 1974, Nia and her mom moved to the Midwest so her mom could finish her master's degree at the University of Iowa. Being the only black student in her entire school, Nia was called every name in the book and was forced to fend for herself. By the time she reached the age of seven, Nia's mom had a new man in her life. According to People magazine, they packed up and moved so they could follow him to South Central Los Angeles. Nia was faced with a whole new set of problems growing up in the inner city. She told People magazine her classmates were constantly trying to pick fights with her, but she held her own and learned how to defend herself. Despite obtaining two master's degrees in fine arts, Nia's mom struggled to make ends meet. She drove a city bus and sold beer at the LA Coliseum to get by, while teaching art part-time in local public schools and at a nearby prison. It was her mom who encouraged Nia to study acting when she was in junior high, but life at home took a twisted turn. At the age of 16, her mom discovered Nia had another half-sister named Jamila, who was also living in Los Angeles. Things got even more shocking when Nia found out Jamila was her classmate. Nia told People magazine, She was in my Spanish class, but we didn't know we were sisters. From that point on, we were tight. When she wasn't perfecting her acting skills, Nia was getting her feet wet in the dating world. Sadly, her first boyfriend lost his life in a crack deal gone wrong. Despite that incident, Nia told People magazine she always had a good head on her shoulders and remained focused on making her dreams come true. She graduated from Westchester High in 1989 and attended college for two years before dropping out after she landed a role in Boys in the Hood. From there, she went back to New York to appear on the soap opera Guiding Light. She also had the opportunity to reconnect with her dad, who was living in Trenton, New Jersey, and teaching English at a local high school. Nia told People magazine, it was important for me to know who he was as a person. Her acting career brought her back to Los Angeles, and she wasn't the only one having success in the entertainment industry. Her half-sister Lori was making waves on the comedy circuit under the stage name Samore. Nia starred in numerous popular shows like Living Single and Moesha, as well as the movies Soul Food and Love Jones. Due to the chemistry she had with her Love Jones co-star Lorenz Tate, everyone assumed there was something going on between them. Lorenz later told The Morning Hustle, Did y'all two ever date you and Nia Long? Nia Long and I have always been super close, you know what I mean? That's, that's you know, uh, dating, uh, you know, I don't kiss and tell. Let me just say that. <laughs> Nia told TV One's Uncensored she was the it girl and everyone was ringing her phone and sending her flowers and diamonds. She had a romance with NBA player Chris Webber and went on a disastrous blind date with Saturday Night Live comedian Chris Rock. Nia told Uncensored that they hated each other. During the date, she said to herself, this dude is not even that funny. Things went so bad, Nia said he gave her a fake number at the end of the night. But in 1997, she felt she had finally found true love. According to People magazine, when Nia wasn't lounging in her West Hollywood apartment, she was in Miami with her boyfriend, restaurant owner, and Source magazine employee, Peter Thomas. You remember Peter, right? He's the ex-husband of Real Housewives of Atlanta star, Cynthia Bailey. But back to Nia and Peter. 
Nia told People magazine that she and Peter were best friends. She added, it makes the love and passion that much better. The love and passion didn't last, though. And Nia moved on when she met actor Masai Z. Dorsey on the set of the show Third Watch. Sparks flew, and Nia became pregnant and gave birth to their son, Masai II, in November 2000. There were rumors they got engaged, but at some point they decided to go their separate ways, and things did not end on a good note. In April 2006, she was spotted out with NFL player Dwight Freeney in NYC. That summer, she was shopping at the Grove in Los Angeles with her new boyfriend. The man wasn't identified, but many assumed she was there with Dwight. They bumped into her baby daddy, Masai, and all heck broke loose. According to TMZ, Nia's boyfriend put the paws on Masai and left him lying on the ground. Nia and her boyfriend took off, and the insider said Nia lost her shoe as they were running away. Nia never confirmed the allegation. She and her ex continued co-parenting their son, although Nia admitted to Spotlight to Nightlight that the day-to-day child-rearing duties were her responsibility. Nia was spotted out with another baller in 2007 when she popped up with NBA player Katino Mobley during Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. But things fizzled out shortly thereafter. From there, she continued to play the field, and at the age of 37, she quietly began dating 24-year-old actor Kevin Phillips. A source told the YBF he even moved into her L.A. home. The two supposedly dated for a while before parting ways around 2008. Two years later, she began dating NBA player Ime Yudoka. In 2011, she went to the doctor to get a shot before leaving the States to film a project in Ghana. The doctor ran some tests first and then told Nia he couldn't administer the shot because she was pregnant. Nia said she was so shocked she almost fainted. She told reporters at the BET Awards, it was the best moment and the sweetest surprise ever. In November 2011, she gave birth to her second son, Kez Sunday Yudoka. With two healthy children, a new man, and a great career, Nia had it all. But, of course, some haters felt she needed a ring on her finger to make everything right. Nia told Essence she didn't, quote, feel less loved or less loving because she wasn't married. While she hadn't ruled out marriage, she was in no rush either. She said, marriage is not a priority for me. I'm not saying I'll never do it. It's just not where we are as a family. Being in a happy and better place spilled over into other areas of her life. Ime's basketball career came to an end, but he was hired on as an assistant coach. And things with Nia's first son's father were better than ever. Nia said, we've arrived at a place where I can truly say he's not a baby daddy. He's my friend, finally. He is an amazing father. Those happy times were interrupted in 2013 when gossip websites reported Ime had dumped Nia for a woman named Alicia DeForest. Nia nor Ime denied the reports. Instead, they shared a cute family photo to silence the naysayers. In 2015, People magazine reported Nia and Ime were engaged. While they appear to still be going strong and are regularly spotted out together, everyone's wondering, when is the wedding? During a 2020 appearance on Essence's Yes Girl podcast, Nia told people to keep on waiting because the wedding wasn't happening anytime soon. She said, love is complicated, let's just start there. She then added, I've never been married and there's a reason for that because I don't know that I need to say I do to prove to you that I love you. On January 27, 2020, Nia suffered a devastating loss when her father passed away at the age of 77. Nia and her two half-sisters were by his side as he transitioned. Dealing with her father's passing hasn't been easy, and Nia admitted in an interview with Exo Nicole she used her disappointment and anger towards him as an excuse to delay her own healing. Nia explained it wasn't until after he passed away and she traveled to his hometown of Trenton, New Jersey, that she was able to learn more about him and his life. She discovered he was an icon in his community, and he had done so much for the children in the neighborhood. The students at Trenton High School even performed a beautiful tribute for him, which brought Nia to tears. She said, because sometimes what a person can't do for their own children, they do for the world. And I'm okay with that if that meant that I had to share him. Therapy and self-reflection have helped her navigate her inner battles. 
She said at moments, she still holds on to the desire of having her dad do something as simple as reading her a bedtime story. But through her journey of self-discovery, she's been able to forgive him. She said, if you commit that healing with yourself, it will honestly change the way you experience your own life. We are so happy Nia is now in a better place. We wish her and her family nothing but the best. Let us know your thoughts on Nia Long's dating history, and thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.